Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg from Logic Pro Expert. And in this video, I want to look at some of the ways that it's possible to program drums directly in the main window. Now, there's lots of different ways of working, different workflows, and we're going to explore a couple of them in this video. I'm going to start by programming up a hi-hat part and then doing kick and snare separately. It's the way I prefer to work. I'm here with a drum kit loaded in, and I've got my quantize through parameters set to smart quantize for 16B. And let's just start with that. All right, so that's going to play back fine. And because I have smart quantized enabled, it'll have captured those 30 second notes and not rounded them off. So what I usually do now is I use the key command control shift return and we can get to the menu item from here in the track menu and that allows us to create another track pointing to the same instrument. Now it's important that we have the track header configured with these power buttons because that allows us to mute the individual tracks that are pointing to the same channel strip and to do that we can go here and go to configure track header and just make sure on off is enabled. So now with the new track set up, I'm going to record a kick and snare. All right, and I put a little bit of floor tom in there as well. So let's just listen back. So now what I can do is go under here under the edit menu and separate MIDI events by note pitch and it'll automatically create additional tracks now for each of the notes that I played. This was just probably a control message. Let's just look in the event list. C press, I don't need that one. So let's just delete that. And here I've got the C ones, which are the kicks. And then that's the snare and that's my floor tom. And the advantage of working this way is that I can now apply the quantize parameters and other region inspector parameters individually. Maybe I want to offset the velocities. I want all the kicks a little quieter or louder. Or maybe I want some of the snares a little bit behind the beat or ahead of the beat. I can put some ticks there. And maybe I want to quantize that differently even. So this gives us a lot of flexibility. Now, another way of working is to get Logic to do the work for us of creating that new track. And here in the recording preferences, I'm going to record in cycle mode. And each time through, I'm going to add additional parts. And with cycle on, we can set this to create tracks and it'll do the work for us. So each time it's created the new track and done basically what we did manually. And here I have all the individual parts and I can mute them individually with these on off buttons, apply the quantize parameters, edit them individually, etc. Here's another way of working again in cycle mode this time. And if you don't like working in cycle mode, we just set the parameter here and cycle off. But in cycle on, I'm going to set it to merge the contents. And this way, it'll add it all into one region and everything will be contained in one. Maybe you prefer to work that way. It is easier to edit if you want to move them around the arrange window. And we can merge recording only, but I'm going to leave it with merge for now. So let's do the same thing. And I have my instrument open here so you can see the notes I'm hitting on the keyboard. So there I just did one additional pass, but everything's contained within here now. Mm -hmm. 
So those are a couple of simple workflows if you like programming up your drum parts directly in the main window. This is Eli Kranzberg for Logic Pro Expert signing out.